One of the most popular and top must-do experiences when visiting Chiang Mai is without a doubt going to an elephant sanctuary. There are so many to choose from, but only a very small handful which are actually ethical. In this vlog, we'll be sharing our experience at Elephant Nature Park. Yo, Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Peter. And I'm Yin, and we're travel vloggers from New Zealand. Today we've got a very special video. We are here at the Elephant Nature Park and we're going to check out a couple of elephants living in the um, sanctuary over here. Yeah, it's going to be a super exciting day. It's something that's been on our bucket list to do and we can't wait to show you around. Yeah, we've just arrived and we're going to get our, what is it? Initiation very yeah. soon. <laughs> Asian elephants we learned are about three to four tons which is about 3,000 to 4,000 kgs and each day they eat about 10% of their body weight and so you can see so many watermelons behind me and a ton of bananas over there. That's a lot of food. It is. <laughs> to do this activity Yen and I paid 2,500 baht each and there are multiple different packages that you can get. So you can do the one day package, which is what we're on now, which picks us up from our accommodation at about eight o'clock and will send us back home around three something. So we'll get back around five-ish. And there are other things that you can do, which is like you can stay here for up to like a week even and help volunteer and feed the elephants and all these kind of things too, which is really cool. We already saw a bunch of the volunteers that were loading up huge mounds of watermelons for the <laughs> elephants to eat. I've already seen a couple of elephants already, so I'm very, very, very excited for this. We just had a really quick intro from our guide about the place here. There are 116 elephants in this gigantic complex. And we are also told, do not touch them, do not stand in front of them, behind them, or in between them. <laughs> so those are the few couple of pre-warnings. Oh, doggy just went by. There are also rescued cats, dogs, and buffaloes in this whole area too. So we're going to share with you a whole bunch of info about this place and why we chose Elephant Nature Park to go with. But for now we've got a few minutes left of our free time so we better head on back. These are some elephant bedrooms which they return to at night and there's also a heater for the ones that like some extra warmth. In the park the guides know which are the friendly elephants and which are the ones that don't really like the human interaction. So these three are all friendly, but they've all got a bit of a sad story. So unfortunately this one stood on a landmine and the one in the middle here got hit by a car. The one on the end is unfortunately blind because she was forced to take so many tourist elephant rides that the sun damaged her eyes. But as you can see, they're all very happily eating here now. Yeah, you can see they're happy because they're switching their tails like that. Yeah. really cool is that we just get to observe the elephants in like their day-to-day -day going about their business doing whatever they want which is mostly eating <laughs> so far that yeah. we've seen. There's nothing unnatural about what they're doing here. Yeah and you just need to give them their space obviously and definitely listen to the guides about which are the ones that are more used to having humans around them. It's really cool we get to learn about each of their stories as well and their personalities too. The ones that we just saw behind us they they are one of the older elephants, they're above 60, 70 years old. So they're like the granny elephants and one of them's uh, lost her teeth so she's like a gummy one. <laughs> but they're just so cute and amazing to see. One of the reasons why Yen and I chose Elephant Nature Park is because it is an ethical place and all these elephants are free to just wander around and whatever they want to do. 
they can do. And one of the big differences between this park and other parks is that they will do things like riding or bathing. And the reason why these things are unnatural is because oftentimes elephants don't want to have interactions with humans. They much prefer to be with their own kind. In the wild, elephants love to bathe in rivers, streams, ponds and muddy wallows where they can roll, splash and submerge their bodies and also come and go as they please, but in peace and quiet. Not having a handler control the elephant for where and when to stand or lie still and not being able to leave when they want. So then you add the excited people who crowd around the elephants, throwing mud and buckets of water at them, although probably well-meaning and thinking that they're just having fun. It further does add to the stressing out of the elephants. In some places, this means a lot of people, like every hour with the elephants in the water. It's not natural for the elephant to be in the water all day with lots of people. So it's just something to definitely keep in mind when you're picking one of these kind of experiences. The way that people actually get elephants to start listening to human command is because they'll take them from a young age as a calf away from their mothers and starve them and beat them and kind of it's what's known as like the breaking down process. Crushing. Yeah. Crushing process, yeah. So it's actually a terrible experience yeah. for the elephants to be able to get to a point where they can listen to the human command and go bathing with you or take you on rides and things like that yeah. and so what we wanted to do is just avoid any of that and go for a place that has that just simply lets you observe them yeah be near them but just observe them and a lot of the backstory of these elephants is sadly the ones that have been mistreated in the past by humans either working them in the farm or taking them on human interaction at tourist activities so, so yeah we just want these elephants to live a happy life of what they have that's remaining yeah so it's good to see the Elephant Nature Park has provided that for them. Just seeing the cutest thing right now, right behind us. Oh, look at those little baby elephants. A couple of little baby elephants having a bath. Yeah. They're just having so much fun splashing around, <laughs> walking on the outside and then dipping in. Oh my goodness. waiting for our lunch right now but look how cute that is right behind you. Hey bud. That's so amazing. Yeah we're waiting for our lunch to start. It is a vegetarian and vegan buffet lunch. The plates aren't quite out yet but all the food is already starting to get lined up. There's a really good range of all kinds of vegetarian options. I've gotten something that sounds pretty interesting. Indian eggplant and bread curry. So let's give that one a try first. Mm. It's really good. It tastes like a normal eggplant, but slightly a little bit crispier. And I really like the um, Indian herbs that are all throughout that. Also got this, which is like a vegetarian protein. So I'm guessing it's some kind of like gluten or tofu. Nice too. That's very tasty too. It's uh, got quite a firm texture, so it's giving you the kind of bounce that meat would, but you know it's vegetarian. Some mountain mushrooms as well. Mountain mushrooms? Mmm. Mm. Oh, I gotta get some more of those mushrooms. They were super delicious. <laughs> Really good bite to it. I'm actually really impressed by the buffet lunch that's here. Yeah, they had lots of noodles as well. Yeah, and rice. fried rice and all that kind of stuff, plus some salads too. Mm. Yeah, some of those pumpkin and the coconut salad. Oh, that, that was good. Mm. Oh, that was really good. Another winner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yum. 
Ian and I are just going to polish these off, refill a bit before we head on out and see more elephants. <laughs> So another good thing to know about this nature park is that it is really gigantic. It's about 200 acres and also one thing that separates this nature park from others is that this one is quite well built up so you've got a lot of pathways as well as bridges and things like that yeah. and even the area that you're hanging out eating it's um, pretty well developed yes. versus some other experiences which is cool in its own way as well but you're basically in the jungle and you're in amongst the elephants in their natural habitat. Yeah, here they've got their natural habitat too though. You can see the river over there. Yeah, and you can even see some elephants in there bathing. Yes. This is a super peaceful place and honestly, it's just one of the best things that you could do, especially as an animal lover. You get quite a lot of free time to just chill out and hang out and go watch the elephants or come check out places like the cat kingdom here. I think our guide before said that there were about 2,000 cats and 600 rescued dogs. They also have all been given their vaccinations too, so they are safe to pet and play with. This elephant is so cute. Her name is Tongyi and you can see that she has all these little bits on the top of her head. She likes to chuck it on to make herself look pretty. Heard she's quite a troublemaker this one. She's broken into a, the elephant kitchen a couple of times before. Hey beautiful. One's got some corn stashed on her back for later. That's smart. We just spent quite a little while just hanging out by the river here, watching the elephants, and it's just so cute. One of them kept trying to like playfully bite the other one. <laughs> It's so adorable. Some other things that we learned here is that all of the elephants have a mahout or a handler, a carer for it that stays with it and looks after it and they also live on the complex too and they're always males. It's a traditional thing as well as um, elephants tend to listen more to males because they're more authoritative. <laughs> But yeah, I thought that was really interesting and they have to also make sure that they get along well with them. There was one elephant uh, that our guide was telling us about how it didn't like its handler at first and so she would eat the banana and then throw the peel at the That's so naughty! <laughs> yeah. So I don't think they got to stay together for too long. Dean and I are doing our loop back now and I gotta say man, what a day it's been today. I think it's gonna be something that Yen and I are both gonna cherish forever. Yeah, definitely. It was an amazing experience. It's also very chilled out, which I think both of us really enjoy and appreciate because you get to spend a lot of time just watching, hanging out and taking your time to learn about the stories of all the elephants. Yeah. Um, a lot of the elephants they were saying here are ones that were rescued from like riding camps and that sort of thing. Circuses and Circuses, all kinds of things, yeah. orphans, ones that have had accidents. So yeah, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video of ours and that when you're planning your own adventures to Thailand and if you want to do these kind of elephant experience and activity sort of thing as well, that you give it a bit of thought to and uh, do your research about which companies are good and put the health and well-being of elephants first. But yeah, we can definitely say that this place was a really nice experience. And Absolutely. It's also very flat ground too, so the walking is easy. It is hot, so good idea to bring a hat. <laughs> I unfortunately forgot my <laughs> sunscreen, water, all that. And um, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Yeah, please leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. Don't forget to ring the notification of bell as well to know when we post another video. But otherwise, we will catch you in the next vlog. See you, everybody. Bye.